welcome to Walking with a Challenge. So this walk is at the Lota Creek and what we're going to do first of all is go through a beautiful boardwalk which starts on White's Road. If you're a local person that lives around the area you might know other ways to get to this walk but obviously I'm presenting this walk from the White's Road entry area. Just be mindful where you park when you come to this walk because there is no designated car park area like the other walks that we've done in the past so be careful when you get out of the car just be aware that you are on white road and there is a little bit of a shoulder site there that you can actually pull over and park but you know usually only fits about three or four cars something also to be aware of is that there are other walks along this path here that can lead you to other areas just follow the one that i'm showing you now because that's the one that i've trialed and tested and i know that this is good for me and you get to see the video footage as well and appreciate if it's something for you to go and give it a try one of the things that i noticed straight up is that it's very open to the sun so be aware of that and be sun smart when you come to this walk also be aware of the time that you come because as you can see very shortly this walk on the boardwalk that is exposed to the sun is it goes for a long time but it is very flat which is a real big plus for us obviously i had to cut out a lot of the walk because it goes for a while i think it goes for about five minutes on the on the boardwalk and we've taken our left hand side turn here to continue on and the terrain would change to go from a boardwalk and it goes onto pavement here and it's, it's still very flat and beautiful all the way through So you follow this road here and walk all the way down till you get to a gate on the left hand side. You can go straight ahead uh, and don't go through the gate. You can go straight ahead if you're on a bike, uh, if you want to do that and you can continue on it. There's now another bike uh, way that you can go through that way. But because what we are doing is we're going to go for a walk, we're going to go through the left gate over here. So now we go through the gate and walk up the little path here and come up to the sign that tells you to go Lota Creek Circuit to the left and basically it's called the Nadusa Track. I hope I'm pronouncing that well. It's a bit over one kilometer long and I'm really looking forward to this walk and I hope you can enjoy it with me as well. So we start a circuit here now and uh, something to notice straight away is that it's a very nice walk so far because especially when we started the circuit, it's going downhill a little bit. So downhill is always good. And I just got to remember that uh, because it is a circuit, I'm not going to come back up this way. So it'll be quite nice to see uh, how it, uh, it unfolds. So as you can see, so far, so good. It's very flat. The, the actual ground, the surface is quite sealed as well. And uh, it looks to be quite a nice walk so far. So we keep going along the path here and this goes on for a little while and basically it looks like it's very very exposed to the sun so uh, be, be sun smart and always be prepared. Uh, I wasn't prepared for this day, I, I really much, pretty much paid the price for it because I was getting very very hot and I was affecting my skin quite quickly. But I, we persisted and we kept going along, just took it, took my own time, did it at my own pace, but it is exposed all the way through here. So remember from the very beginning of the walk, we turned left and we just continued walking the circuit. You don't veer off anywhere, you just stay on the path and follow it all along. There are a lot of different little walks along the way, uh, just stick to what I'm showing you here now and you will be okay. And even though the beginning of this walk of the circuit, it's very exposed uh, for about five minutes it goes pretty exposed but then it comes to a bit of a bit of a shade and the shade goes on for a while but yeah you come to an area that is shaded and the temperature drops dramatically for walking for someone like me walking uh, that made it more comfortable as you can see here now where there's a bit of shade we now have got trees all around us so the walk just changes from being very exposed to the shaded area. So it's a very good walk so far. And I know that I always harp on, on this, but as you probably noticed, the actual surface begins to be a little bit wet. Uh, it, has, it had been raining a little bit earlier, so 
it is a bit wet and that's why I always insist that you have good set of uh, shoes to go for a walk something that actually has a good grip on at the bottom so along the circuit you can see there are seats available there's another one here that we come up we saw another one early, earlier on I don't know if you remember seeing that one but yeah we can we can come up and uh, go for a walk here and have a bit of a rest to get our bearings together and have a bit of a have a bit of a rest and then keep going and we're gonna head up to a little hill we're coming up to a little bit of an incline soon just got to remember there's no race to get up the little incline just take it take it easy take your own time do it at your own pace the whole point of this exercise is just to get out there and get moving and if you're out doing something you're up and about doing something you know you are going to feel better off afterwards you might be feel a little bit sore because of our muscles that you haven't used for a long time but i can assure you you will feel much better for it something else that i also need to make a note on is that when you're walking especially if you're doing things by yourself uh, when you're walking just pay attention where you're putting your foot on every time you walk and take a step the last thing you want is to sort of wander off the edge of a of a path and trip over so always be aware of where you are how you're walking because as you're walking uh, on a circuit like this or any other circuit you know you, you start building a bit of a stamina but but also you start getting a little bit tired and I know that when I get tired I veer off a little bit to the right and and that could actually cause me to to fall if I'm not careful so just something to be aware of because it is something that I have found and, and probably the better word to say is to realize that now that I've got walking challenges it's something that I've got to pay attention to so we must really talk about uh, the importance of following signs when you're up and about doing these walks this particular walk here there's a lot of signs uh, the actual walk itself is very well signed um, however like I said earlier where we are there are a lot of walks that come across when you're walking in the circuit here just make sure that you follow uh, the sign for the walk that you're doing because you can easily end up on another walk that you didn't start because the the signs they all look similar but you need to read the signage properly and you need to follow the the walk that you're doing so remember the walk that we started doing was not dosa track you're just gonna make sure that you keep following the name of that sign all across it because sometimes you might take somebody with you and you will become distracted because you're having a chat and you might not pay attention to the sign so it's very important to make this note so there you have it guys this is pretty much towards the end of the walk now you follow the road up here I'll, I'll put it on fast forward now otherwise it'll be too long for you to watch minute per minute but you're pretty much coming to the the starting point where you're gonna see the sign again once again the signs look similar but you gotta read the actual the actual signage on it and we're coming to the end of it here and you'll recognize the gate that we went through and from here on we just walk back all the way back to the uh, boardwalk so we are pretty much coming to the end of the walk we are exiting now the gate that we came in from and basically from the boardwalk to here and doing the circuit and then going back to the boardwalk and to the car park all up is 2.2 kilometers it took 40 minutes to complete all that i know that sometimes having a walking challenge can sometimes stop you from getting out there and doing some sort of activity so come and check the channel there might be something here for you one day and uh, it might get you to go out there and go for a bit of a walk and a bit of an activity it, it, brisbane is a beautiful area and there's a lot of things you can do even if it's just slow and and take your time but come out there and join a, a walk uh, come and join us in our channel have a look what's here for you and it's just important to remember that there's people out there like you that are walking with a challenge.